2K goes to Reddit to get advice and opinions. Yup, 2K. Rather than asking 2K League players, streamers, and content creators. Huh. I bet y'all didn't notice. 2K community is like split, guys. The Facebook guys is like pro-am heads. There's a lot of pro-am heads and old heads on Facebook. The YouTube is more park, dribblers, exciting content, fun stuff, not so serious. On Twitch, it's a lot of stage, competitive, try hard wagers. And we've all been on Twitter. Twitter's basically what YouTube is. Most people on YouTube go to Twitter to talk. But for some reason, I just never gotten into Reddit. And I've been meaning to, bro. I have like six accounts. I keep creating them and forgetting. So today I'm about to discover what the Reddit NBA 2K community is all about. This video is brought to you by Grammarly. More on that later. Bring back Rachel, and that has 1.6 thousand upvotes. Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know what she's been up to since she left 2K TV. The NBA 2K community misses you, no cap. These guys miss you. You're top voted. This is the first thing I've seen on the Reddit, man. Off the ripper. Ah, this is surprising. A little surprising. It's a my career content out here. Anyone else hate the my career games right now? I just posted 35 points, 30 assists, and 20 rebounds with five blocks in the game, and somehow I still lost. I was up 25 at one point, but then I got subbed out and was behind 10. Just doesn't feel like I could do anything about it. Hey, uh, kebab that's the nature of basketball, my guy. When LeBron James gets subbed out and the team performs horribly, there's nothing he could have done about it except stay in the game. <laughs> 2K20 my career greater than 2K21 my career. Honestly, just 2K20 in general. I know COVID messed up everything in 2020, but WTF 2K? 2K21 might be the worst yet. It's actually not the first time I've heard that. It's the second time I've heard that. Because the first time was on Twitter, Flex and said, hear me out, 2K21 might be worse than 2K18. To which I responded, explain your thinking. To which he responded, if we're only talking about gameplay, then 21 is stale to the point where only two builds are liable, plus a whole speed glitch. 18 at least had a very fun pro-am. You can hate on it all you want to, as I did all year. But the pro-am was fun. There's no debate about that. It doesn't matter if I pass or shoot. It's important that I score. All right, we're playing some my career. There's a lot of my career heads on Reddit. Oh, that went in. <laughs> I've actually never had that happen to me before. I'm trying to write me my own Reddit post. I'm gonna get in here with him, man. Well, it's a good thing this video is brought to you by your digital writing assistant, Grammarly. We'll leave cue the timer. Boom, 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 boom. 10 seconds. And I wasn't even trying that hard. Ladies and gentlemen, Grammarly is your digital writing assistant. You're writing a paper for school. You're putting together a grant proposal for your job. Or maybe you just want to put together a Reddit post. Grammarly will help you correct your grammatical and spelling errors. You don't have to stress over it anymore. They have a free version for you to try out, but then you can take it to the next level, baby. Cause they have Grammarly Premium. Now let's say I'm sending a strongly worded email to Ronnie, right? Oh, what's that Grammarly? I have some improvements I can make. Oh, I forgot my comma. Thank you. I'm not a fan of NBA 2K21. I love the NBA 2K series, but y'all have to do better. <laughs> when I was in uni, I'd have a thesaurus and I'd flip through it so I didn't sound like I was saying the same thing over and over again. I wanted different words I can use to make me sound smarter. If you have Grammarly Premium, they have vocabulary suggestions, so it does it for you. You ever get to writing and you're saying the same thing over and over and over again in like 18 different ways? Well, unless you're doing it on purpose because you have to reach a specific word, account. Grammarly Premium has clarity suggestions so that if you're saying the same thing over and over and over again, it'll know and it'll ask you to correct it. All right, y'all know how much I love one specific energy drink. I love money too. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. <laughs> Hence the ad guys, huh? <laughs> so I literally put together a whole brand proposal for AMP and the brand I wanted to work with. So fellas, if y'all ready, save time on your work and emails with Grammarly. Go to Grammarly.com slash agent to sign up for a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium today to help you save time and work more efficiently. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you to Grammarly for helping sponsor this video. Click that link in the description and let's get back to the video. Use your head, Zion. Uh, here we have an alley-oop toss to which Ooh, clever. He took put your head in the game to another level. <laughs> 
I love it when guys who average 10 points per game think they're so much better than guys, people who average like seven. Yo, I've played plenty of 2K games over the years, but never has points per game been a metric that anyone's cared about, bro. Ever. The only time points per game gets mentioned is when you have like 18, because that's like an absurd number to have. I actually hate 2K so much. And here we got a screenshot of Josh Green and Aminu Muhammad for Clay Thompson and Blake Griffin, of course. <laughs> Of course. Okay, here we go. Here the complaints come. The worst online experience in a game. He said, holy smokes. Some points. Lag and delay off the rip. We know that to be the case. Dance moves. Who is this meant for, 12 year olds? Doing that in the middle of a game, pre-game? That attitude is just meh. <laughs> what the hell? This is the most old head post. Who's ever complained about dances? What the hell? Playing without pre-mates. This is what bothers me the most. If you go 3v3, and there's two of you, let's say, and a random joins. Usually, if a player has 90 plus overall, they don't pass, ever. And then, when you don't have... Nah, nah, nah. I didn't expect to say this, but it looks like there's a lot of old heads on Reddit. Which kind of tracks. If y'all ever hear the NBA 2K developers talk about the game, there's a lot of old heads that develop the game, too. When I say old heads, I just mean people that ex prefer, like, the simulation, 5v5, my career sometimes, play now experience. Like, the type of people that are, like, try a triangle offense in the game just for fun. But, Agent, you did that in 2K17. Okay, all right, guys. I'm an old head, too. Okay. All they want us to play real. 3v3 basketball it's so frustrating to stand in one spot wide open or constantly moving to get good looks and just be ignored by someone who is dead set to curry slide for 22 seconds and jack up a bad three you're explaining right now my guy the quintessential nba 2k experience like if you don't go in there with a squad it actually doesn't matter how much you pass the ball they're not passing you it don't matter how much buckets you make they're not passing to you it don't matter the defense you play they're not passing to you bro playing 2k like solo dolo is a tough is a tough scene hey the best bet killing cereal is for you to hop on a discord server or something to make some friends bro get a couple people you can run with consistently i'm telling you that's your best bet and people say this game ain't realistic kyrie irving can't stop thinking about the inevitability of death fragility of life is expected to miss four to six weeks <laughs> take a deep breath brooklyn fans our uncle drew is out four to six weeks with a high left ankle sprain hashtag stay calm mention gatorade on your next post game interview Bro, there's no way you bought a whole Gatorade fit and said you were only gonna do it once. You better do it two or three times. You gotta get your ROI up, man. I think it's hilarious as content creators, we have to write hashtag ad and always say when something's a sponsor because that's what's right. You guys have to know when you're being advertised to. But in any other industry, those rules don't exist. They could advertise to you and you'll never know it. It'll just be sitting there, guys. Like this, I'm not being paid, but if I was, I would have to say it. On American Idol, they could have this there for as long as they want to, never disclose it. I don't need to spend money on a my player. I'll just grind it. <laughs> Is this real? How do you even rack this right here up? 2K22 trailer devs be like, oh wow, the sweat is really glistening off Jimmy. God damn it, Jimmy Butler, you look superhuman right now. All these striations and veins and Alright, so this is the impression I'm getting so far. Like, the top things that trend are usually just funny memes. And, you know, Reddit is a great place to get memes. So, I, you can't, you can see that. I can see that right there. Memes being a big thing on Reddit. I am the meme guy, after all. What's new in NBA 2K21? Look, guys! Absolutely f***ing nothing! That's actually true for current gen, by the way. I know this is one of my 15 assists in the game, but come on, ref, call some! If he had traveled any harder, he'd need a passport to get back to the stadium. Where's the ball? Oh, there it is. One, two, three, four, five. God damn! This is my favorite NBA 2K TV episode. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow, Reddit seems to love Rachel Demita. You guys must have been floored when she decided to leave. <laughs> I actually seen this trend on Twitter a little bit too. What is this 2K? And look guys, it's Al Horford at $27 million a year. <laughs> right off the block for LeBron James. Can you can imagine they decided to pull this trigger? This is actually the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen on a trade block, like ever. I, I spent three, four years uploading daily MyGM content. I'm telling you, this is the most disrespectful trade block approach I've ever seen. This is the most 
disrespectful. I recently got into mods and wow, this game became fun again. Actually, I just uploaded a video of playing all the mods a couple days ago, man. Make sure to catch that. Top link in the description. There's gonna be an end screen on this video if you guys missed it. Oh, it's a slide, okay. Okay, Giannis and Jimmy, LeBron. Oh my God, this looks insane. <laughs> Is that a Ninja Turtle? <laughs> Bro, yo, that caught me off guard, dog. If y'all want to see more mod videos, drop a like on this right here. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notifications! Red community's not too far off from what I thought. I have to figure out why they're saying this community has so much, like, influence, though. Alright, let's test the theory. Cover athlete 2K22, it's Luka. Now, this is official now, guys. If Luka becomes the cover athlete for NBA 2K22, Reddit has all the power. It is confirmed. Here's the distinction, I think. On YouTube, people drop videos, and a video could be anywhere from like five to 20 minutes long. You don't know. And it's difficult to like communicate in that video. It doesn't feel like a community the same way Reddit would. You can make the same argument that Twitter is the most influential platform because Baluba, Mike Wang, actually puts out polls on Twitter asking people to vote on what changes they want to see in the game. We saw that at its height in NBA 2K19. I mean, on April 9th, he posted saying, do you want shot aiming in NBA 2K22? And 86% of the community, which just to let you know, is a clear landslide. Votes never go this deep in one direction. Voted no. And you look in the replies, everybody's saying no. You can have a conversation with people. Iggy is being responded to by Joe Knows and Peter drops in his comments here. You'll see content creators, professional 2K League players, community members, tryhard stage players all in one thread right here. If I had to put a leaderboard on it, I'd say that Twitter is the most influential platform. But there has been times where the 2K devs have used Reddit as a place to communicate. Well, just to explain a change that's being made in the game, but they do now also have their website. So they used to upload patch notes and the like on their Facebook. And so if you wanted them, they either tweeted them or put it on their Facebook. But now they have a website where they post them all. So you can go back and find the old ones, etc., etc., all in one place. I've also been told that 2K has people that literally go out there and watch videos from the community to see what's going on. It doesn't feel like that. Honestly, I've been told that, but it doesn't feel like it because like you could say something that makes sense over and over again and they won't, it won't get to them. Like they'll hear like, oh wow, we'll send that to the devs. Like the devs should have been known about some problems well before because it's known within the community. How do the devs not know? I don't know how much truth there is to Reddit has the most influence on any platform. What Reddit says goes. But if Luca is the cover athlete, we'll know for certain. There's no way around it. There's no if, buts, or what's about it. If y'all missed the last video, I installed a bunch of mods on NBA 2K14, and it was a lot of fun to play. Make sure you go ahead and click that. If not, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. I'll see y'all. Peace.